Welcome to this reader card video on inserting RFID card ID data onto a web page. If I present the card to a reader, the browser is instantly launched and the information is presented in the browser at the bottom of the page here. We have the card ID number, the card type, which happens to be a MyFair Standard 1K, and the reader which was used to present that information. If I present a further card, a second tab is launched with the card ID data again. Again, we can see the card type this time is an iClass card using the same reader that was used on the previous read. Very quick, very easy, very simple. And how is this done using reader card? If we open up the reader card software, we look at card types. As you can see, there are an abundance of different card types. You can select all or you can select individual card types. I'm going to select all. We then need to select the reader that we're going to use. The reader that I've selected is the OmniKey 5021, primarily because this has the keys embedded in it from point of manufacturer to be able to read iClass cards. The action that we wish to happen, the action is to launch a URL. So the URL that we're going to launch is here. Then we need to follow that information with the identifiers that we require, which is the card ID, the card type, and the reader ID. These are matched to field types within the web browser and, and presented as can be seen. If you require further identifiers, we can use the different formats here to present that information. So we could, for instance, add a timestamp as required. Next, we need to look at the format. The format that we have chosen today is iClass and Prox ID where possible. You could just select the card UID serial number or you could have an NFC decoder to launch other NFC NTAG data. We, the UIDs of any cards that we read today will be set out as a decimal standard 32 bit. But as you can see, the list here provides all of the usual standards required within the industry. On the iClass and Prox format, that has been selected as auto. You could though, if you know your card format, select an individual format. I have chosen today to omit the facility code because we don't require that information. So we only get the card number. This was reader card URL launching capability. Thank you very much for watching. If you require further information, then please go to www.readercard.com to see more videos or find more information.